Hello there. This is a picture I saw. Alec Turner took it and I thought it was really nice. Um, it was very orange and I quite like orange. I, um, I like the cloudiness and the way that the, the threatening image is just visible through the mist. Like all of my pictures, I always have to put a disclaimer in that what I saw in the screenshot and what caused me to do the picture is not what you get to see from the picture because I, I rarely actually succeed. That I like this picture, don't get me wrong. I think it's turned out nicely, but it hasn't captured that shady threateningness that I quite like about the original screenshot. Alex managed to get the whole of the Titan in, so he's been at quite a distance, a safe distance, I might add, although he will have been gathering caustic because once you get out of the immediate vicinity of the Titan, you start to pick up caustic gas because the caustic generators, these little kind of jacks that sort of float around in the cloud and pump out this gas, they don't come right up to the Titan itself because they tend to blow up when you go near them and I imagine the Thargoids must find that a bit annoying. Of course there's other forms of damage to be aware of at this point. There's all the many interceptors and things floating around and the glaives, the horrible glaives. Yeah, well, when you're there, if you can stay pretty cold. I was floating around at 24. And they didn't really bother me. I I quite like just looking at it. It's nice. I'm kind of boring. I just enjoy looking at the environments that I'm in and floating around and poking at bits. I was there recently to do this, this new game loop type affair with the Titan heat vents. With, we've got these new missiles you can shoot. You wait until the heat vents open. Every now and again, the uh, the Titan breathes and it opens these gas vents. There's eight of them, one on each lobe of the Titan, I suppose. Arm, tentacle, whatever. And they open up and you see this yellow pit beneath of the hot gas. If you're too close, when they open, they push you back like a fumarole on a planet. And they've got that kind of fumarole gas coming out of them. So anyway, with, with your new Guardian Nanite Torpedo, the magic weapon, you can see once the heat vents are open, you can target the heat vent within. And then you can send your torpedoes inside. And actually, they do go to target, because I found that even though I've been moving quite fast around them, my, my torpedoes have been going into the heat vents once I've targeted them. It's quite satisfying. And then once you've done it, if you can do enough of them, the more of these heat vents you can shoot a torpedo into, the longer you have to attack it. On the other side of the Titan from the heat vents, the back, if you like, if it gets too hot, if it overheats it, it has to send out its big heat core, I guess. Otherwise it will blow up. And the heat core looks like a hairbrush, or people say a pineapple. Anyway, it's glowing yellow, bright yellow, glowing chrysanthemum type affair. It sticks out and I imagine it must be quite hot near it, but I've not been aware of it because once that's out, if you can scuttle around, you can attack this and really start to damage the Titan. The mothership will fall. <laughs> well, I imagine they will because plenty of people are doing it. It's all pretty hopeful. We will see, I suppose. I'm quite looking forward to seeing how this all goes down. <laughs> it's been fun so far. I have died a lot, though. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, bye.